Recently, I was asked, what are you, I was telling somebody today, what are you speaking on tonight? And I said, I'm speaking on how to choose, they asked me what the topic of my speech was. And I said, the topic of my speech is how to find a topic. Because a lot of people can't do that. They have struggles. They, I'm in Toastmasters, okay, I've got to give a speech about myself, that's easy, okay, that's number one. Number two, hey, wait a minute, I've got to start thinking, what can I talk about? And so you have some troubles, right? Well, this is going to give you some good ideas on how to get ideas. <laughs> now, there's several sources that you can refer to. The first source would be personal experience. And there's four potential areas. One would be family. That's my daughter. Aww. Interests. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Could be career. The idea is that all of these individual areas, education is the last one, are areas that you can think about in your own life that might give you some ideas for speeches, some topics. Now, the second source, and this is important too, is the reference materials that are out there. For instance, you have an entire world of information on the web. So websites, this is Wikipedia if you don't happen to know what that is. It happens to be the largest repository of human knowledge in existence. Now is that, and it's editable by anybody. So if you happen to have a specialty and you know a lot about organizing in that particular town, you can have that, anyways, it's, this is a resource that you can use for your speeches. Another possibility are books. You might be an avid reader. You like mysteries. You like historical fiction. These are potential ideas that you can get, topics that you can get from the books that you've read. And finally, magazines and newspapers. We all maybe get magazines and have certainly seen newspapers, and there's stuff going on all the time. At a recent meeting, I was given a question about, uh, from Dave about an impromptu speech about something that was happening with ISIS, very topical. And that could be an entire topic for a speech, couldn't it? You could talk all about that. So these ideas are one of the, the ways that you can get to understand your um, whole organization of speaking. Now, you have to understand that not only do you have personal and reference materials, but you have to consider these. You have to consider who your audience is. If you're speaking to a Rotary Club, your speech is going to be different than if you're speaking to high school teachers. You have to consider the occasion. If you're giving a speech before, in a wedding, that's going to be a different speech than if you're giving um, a speech, say, for instance, in front of a barbecue. And finally, you want to be specific. And the reason for that is, you don't want to have your topic going all over the world. You'd like to have your topic be as close to matching your, what it is that you're trying to get to. You don't want to have a, a, such a broad topic that speaking on it for five to seven minutes is nearly impossible. So that's why we always say in a five to seven minute speech, your first minute should be what it is that you're going to talk about. Then for the, first, the next few minutes, there's... You're going to tell people what you're talking about. And the last minute is your conclusion. Speaking of conclusions, we want to make sure that we are able to, I want everyone to understand that you can get all of these ideas from your own personal experience, from reference material that are out there, and in consideration of the occasion, the audience, and if you're specific, all of these things will lead to an excellent speech topic. And all of these potential ideas are out there. They're in your head. So it's just a matter of, at the beginning, you saw all the question marks? Because nobody knew what they were, right? Nobody knew what was going on. They're, they're thinking, what is this speech about? Well, now you've been informed. So now you get exclamation marks, because now you all know where you can go to get a speech topic. And if I ever hear anybody say, I don't know what to talk about, maybe you weren't at this 
You weren't listening to this speech. <laughs> now, this was a 10 to 15 minute presentation. I was asked to shorten it. And so, I don't know if you're keeping track or not. I am, so. Okay. We're at five minutes and ten seconds. And I am way short. We have a little less than three minutes. Okay. Okay. I got the point. Yeah. I can ask questions. That's a good point. Uh, are there any questions? I have a question about family yes. at, at Toastmasters. How personal do people get with that? Sometimes, too. Very. We want to, in general, it can be personal. In fact, some of the world's best speakers, when they do their, we do the international convention every year, the Toastmasters, this year it's in Las Vegas, they often speak about themselves, their life. What you want to stay away from are colorful, <laughs> you know, ideas, things that might offend somebody. Oftentimes, religion and politics are not the best topics to speak about. But if you are saying something like you're talking about ISIS, I mean, for instance, the, your idea, if you're talking about ISIS, you might be able to talk about what their re real ideas are. And we may not, I don't know what ISIS is all about. I kind of heard a little bit about it. But you do some website research, do some online research, there's a speech topic. If you're talking about your family, like I said, you know, we're all friends. So it's not going to be too much. Any other questions? Can you summarize your four points again? Yes. You well, there's, there's, there's two basic sources of resor uh, resources. One is personal, and the other is, res is material that you can find out there. If it's personal, it could be family, your interests, your career, or it could be education. Education. Thank you. If it's resource materials, the websites are out there. The world is out there. If you even think about something, in fact, sometimes when you type into Google what you're looking for, it guesses what you want, but it may be completely wrong. And so you might find an idea. Oh, I was typing, you start typing PA, and all of a sudden Pacific Ocean comes up. And it's like, okay, let me research Pacific Ocean. In the next two hours, all you know, you're looking at the kelp and, and mm -hmm. the, the seafloor, and there's your idea for a speech. Uh, they also have books, the books that you might have read, magazines, newspapers. You might be walking down the street and see something real interesting. You see a homeless person. You see somebody riding a bike, and it, maybe it's an older person. You think, well, why is an older person riding a bike? They must be wanting to keep in shape. And let me look into that a little bit. You might have another interest that people are understanding about. They, they want to know about. For instance, if any of us, and I, I've seen this before, I was in the restroom not too long ago, a couple meetings ago, and there was a gentleman that worked in this building that was changing into hiking, I mean, I'm sorry, biking gear. And he was going to ride his bike home after wearing a suit all day. There's a whole speech right there, right? So there's lots of, and you can have fun speeches, you can have rah-rah speeches, <laughs> yeah, you know? It's, uh, it's all a matter of, what you personally want to do and talk about, and whether it's family, mm -hmm. and it might be a little personal. And sometimes we've had we've had some emotional speeches, very, very. Mm -hmm. and that's like I said, we're all friends. We're all helping each other. That's what Toastmasters is all about. We're all friends. I hope that this has been somewhat helpful in helping you understand where you can get some ideas, and if you can learn from this. And I shouldn't ever have to hear it from somebody because I'm the vice president of education, so I might be the one you talk to. I don't want to hear, I want speech number three, and I can't think of anything to talk about. <laughs> you weren't listening, or you weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Toastmaster. Good.